bow down to the king. Right here. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, good morning. It's Mike Chen here in Flushing, New York. I don't come back to New York as often as I thought I would, so every time I'm here, I gotta make it count. And today, it's gonna be pretty insane seafood day. So over the past few years, a lot of Asian seafood places have been opening up, kind of fusing Asian flavors with Cajun flavors with seafood. And the result, you'll see, I gotta show you. But before food, let's grab a quick breakfast. This is one of my all-time favorite breakfast items. It's so saucy, look at it. Because the noodles are just drenched in this awesome sauce, just soy sauce, peanut sauce, sriracha, some sesame for an extra fragrant flavor. And all that with, paired with fish balls. This is such a cheap and satisfying Chinese breakfast item. I actually get one of these every single day when I was going to work in Chinatown because they sell these in food stalls all over Chinatown, New York. It's such a hearty dish with a great peanut flavor. And what I love about this place is that I feel like they're trying to make the fish balls feel at home, so they flood the container with sauce. And that's the best part, because you want these noodles to just get submerged, because they're like multi-layer noodles. You want every layer to just get submerged in that awesome, creamy, spicy concoction. One of the cheapest, yummiest Chinese breakfast items around. Mm, that's so good. All right, we took our fruit break. Let's go eat. First stop, sup, crab. This place, all the seafood prepared fresh right in the kitchen and it's still jumping right in front of me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is just the beginning of my seafood feast. We got a big boy coming, the king crab. The king is coming. But first of all, we got a few dishes here. This is some of my favorite things to eat when I come to this place. Right here, salted egg Dungeness crab and prawns. If you guys never had salted egg before, it is one of the most delightful seasoning on this planet. So most of you guys have ever been to Southeast Asia, a lot of crab or uh, even chips are cooked with salted eggs. And if you're from Northern China, like we eat a lot of salted eggs with our rice. Salted eggs is just like a wonderful part of our diet. And here, the crab is fried and then coated with salted egg and stir fry. So that all that yummy, yolky awesomeness, it's just everywhere. And these prawns, it's a Chinese way of eating it. You gotta eat the little legs here. These are like little prawn crackers. Look at that. Brains, the guts, everything is in here. Then this is the most flavorful part of the prawn. Oh yeah, all that great innards taste, sweet, tender, and crunchy because this thing is just right out of the fryer. You see all that little salty egg stuck on the outside of the prawn? Trust me, you'll want to gnaw that off. Little shrimp legs, already getting tons of that salted egg. Pull that apart, out comes the sweet flesh. So what I like to do, suck on the outside of the shell, and then 
as like candy of the sea. The contrast of flavor from the tender, sweet, juicy, succulent flesh of the prawn to the salted, eggy, yolky flavor of the salted egg sauce. That's like when heaven meets the sea. This is the best part. The tamale, all the innards. It may look crazy, but trust me, this is delicious. Mm. That's like crab essence right there. The essence, the spirit, the soul of the crab, the source of its flavor right there. And then the joint part, you see all that great salted egg crusted all over this thing? Look at that. When you break it open, look at that juicy, succulent, sweet flesh of the crab. Don't be afraid to get really messy here because this food deserves your undivided attention. Like, you need to be really attentive to detail when it comes to eating this because you don't want to waste any crevice. You don't want to waste any drop of salted egg. Trust me, that's all part of the experience. And this, you can taste how fresh everything is. I wouldn't even call this a seafood plate. This is like an ocean candy plate. All right, I got a chicken dish. This is really nothing to do with seafood, but I just really like their chicken dish here. This is the crispy Chongqing fried chicken. This is basically Chinese fried chicken. You know, KFC, this is CFC. Chinese fried chicken or Chongqing fried chicken. Crispy, juicy, morsels of meat, spicy, nummy, all that great citron flavor. I wouldn't expect like a seafood place to make a really good version of this dish, but it makes sense, right? A lot of spices involved in everything we see here. And we're just still waiting because royalty, you know, they like to take their time. All right, you guys ready? Ready for the king? Oh. This crab is sprayed with garlic and scallions and then hot oil was poured on top, just frying everything, the garlic, scallions, the meat, creating just the most amazing fried garlic aroma. Scallion was falling from the sky onto the crab like a coordination event. This is the biggest batch of hot oil. I've ever seen. It smells so good. I want to jump in here and take a bath. Probably wouldn't be the smartest idea, but I want to do it. I'm in the kitchen right now. I'm watching all this get made. It's overwhelming me right now. It's all the garlic and scallions and the chilies. Crawfish fried rice. It's one of my favorite dishes here. But since I get to be part of the, you know, making it process, I need that broccoli out of my bowl. Like, we can... We don't want that. All right, well, I feel just like Poseidon or Aquaman. So besides the dishes that we had earlier, the crawfish, this is called a ghost street crawfish, and it's soaked in what's called a ghost street sauce. This is a kind of special chilies that they make just in this restaurant. This is the crawfish over rice. You gotta try this when you come here. A little onion, little green pepper, the sauce is amazing. I'll drizzle on top of rice. If you just wanna like pop in for lunch for like a quick rice dish, this would be it. And of course, bow down to the cane. Right here. The flavor is preserved. Just a bit of garlic, scallions, and a drizzle of oil to heat the garlic and scallion up to get that aroma going everywhere around the crab. Now, the reason I like this place is that everything they serve here, nothing is frozen. Everything is alive. Let's dig one that's been laying on the bottom. Look at that, all covered in garlic and chilies. If you guys are wondering why this is called Ghost Street, this is actually a street in Beijing where people just sit there and eat these crawfish. They call it a little lobster over there. And this is the sauce that's typically prepared on Ghost Street. So that's why this is the Ghost Street crawfish. And of course, best part right in here, give it a little squeeze. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a proper reaction. If you don't do that, that means it's not strong enough for you. And your crawfish needs to be ghostlier. Wow. What's really unique about Chinese spices on these uh, little crawfish is that you get a lot of numminess. There's a lot of Chinese peppercorn in here. So it's not just spicy, it's a nummy, spicy flavor. If that's the sauce you're into, you're gonna love this. And this is their special hot sauce boil. Dungeons crab, lobster, king crab in here as well. 
This is their special hot sauce, and it's called Bai Wei Mi Jiang in Chinese, which means 100 flavor sauce. Mm. The hot sauce here is tiny bit sweeter, subtly sweet, tons more garlic than the Ghost Street. Ah, oh, king crab leg. Mm. King crab meat is one of the sweetest, most delightful seafood meats you can ever have. The legs are massive, and the sauce soaks in perfectly with just the right amount of spiciness to highlight how ridiculously sweet the crab meat is. I've been saving this. I feel bad even approaching it. It looks so peacefully delicious. Oh, all that sweet flesh revealed. Just garlic and scallions and some oil. The joint is some of the most tender, juicy meats on a crab. Let's just dip it in that sauce. Favorite thing so far. This is why this crab will cost you a royal bounty. Some of the sweetest, most delicate, delightful, juiciest seafood you can ever have. You can't cook seafood like this unless it's just supremely fresh. All you're really tasting is just the enhanced natural flavor of the meat. The leg, look at that. All that garlic and scallions on the leg. There's two major moments in my life when I had a bite of something and my world changed forever. First was when I went to Japan at the A5 Wagyu. That just completely changed my perception of what amazing steak should taste like. And then the second time, I remember, it was at a Chinese buffet and they were serving up fresh king crab legs cooked this way, just stir fried, some scallions, some garlic, that's about it. And I remember after a bite of that, I knew from then on, my gauge of what is amazing seafood changed forever. And this reminds me so much of that experience. Look at this, guys. I've struck egg. It's a runny egg on the middle section right above the rice. And this is gonna get into all that great sauce and into the grains of rice, making it a little more creamy. Mm. Like I said, this is one of my favorite dishes here. Fresh, meaty little crawfish, creamy, spicy sauce made even creamier by the egg. And while your taste buds are completely overwhelmed by that amazing creamy flavor, a little pop of spicy chili just wakes everything up. Finally, this is like my, my cleansing item almost. Scallops, again, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of scallions, splash of oil. And yeah, don't waste that soup right up there. Just slope that right up. I consider that the seafood soup part of my meal. What I got today is my favorite dishes here. The Gulf Street, I think is a must try. It's such a unique blend of sauces and peppercorn and spices. If you're a fan of Cajun flavored crawfish, I'm, I'm just saying before, like this is just a blend of Cajun seasoning and Chinese seasoning. And it just adds a much deeper range of flavor. This, what can I say? I mean, that's just the jewel of the sea. The most tender, meaty, juicy crustacean living under the ocean. And if you're a fan of crab and never had king crab before, try this, it will change your life. And of course, if you're a fan of salted egg where you never had salted egg before, come try the salted egg prawns and crab. That flavor is something you need to have in your life. And then of course, this is, this is just like my common everyday fear. If just coming here for lunch, grab a bowl of this. If you just want a bowl of seafood rice with all the flavors and textures that you crave, this is definitely for you. If you love Cajun flavored seafood, you gotta try this out. All right, obviously this, this is a lot of seafood, so I got some friends coming to help me eat this. And then we, we, got, a, we got a second seafood meal. The seafood day's not over yet. The next seafood place I'm going to around the St. Mark's area. A lot of these uh, really amazing Asian restaurants have been popping up around here. And this place, if you get here late, it's about a three, four hour wait. I've done that once. It's called La Sia. And they have some really interesting flavors that go with their seafood. Seafood meal number two. We turn to the sea. I'm pretty sure that's the sequel to The Little Mermaid, but we got some surf and turf. We got some cold noodles, because this restaurant was really unique about it, is that it's very authentic Chinese flavors. So you get a kind of a different spread. I have some seafood fried rice, skewers, and for seafood, king crab and crawfish and 13 flavored spice. First things first, skewers. Beef skewer, ooh, this is so good. These are actually Wagyu beef skewers. This is one of the most tender, flavorful beef skewers I've had. Outside, it's seasoned with a little bit of pepper to give it some spice, some cumin, sesame. And you can definitely taste the fire on those skewers. Such a great smoky taste. That'll probably like go really good with my cold noodles. Mmm, oh, this is so yummy. These noodles, a little peanut flavor, garlic, tons of spices. Must get when you come here. This is crazy. This is all tendon and spice. I didn't get these things last time I was at this place, but the skewers are must try items here. Beef tendon, if you never had it, it's got sort of a nice crunch to it. To me, really good texture and a slight gelatinous flavor. And this is cooked with red chili flakes. So it's gonna bring more of the heat. 
Mm. Ah, seafood fried rice is amazing. Both these restaurants, really strong rice dishes. This thing tastes almost more like a risotto. A nice, subtly sweet seafood flavor. So their seafood is one of the biggest things they're known for here. Their signature flavor is the 13 spice. And this one, I got a little king crab. It's almost like a curry-based sauce. You can see some chilies in there, a little bit of garlic. Mm. When I chose to film here, I came here and tried this place out. I actually really, really like the sauce. I feel like the sauce they use for the seafood is very authentically Chinese. This is just basically like a seafood stir fry in Chinese spicy chili and nummy pepper sauce. That goes really, really well with the sweet pink crab. So if you're a fan of these like Cajun seafood boil places, this place in Sub Crab is gonna be a very unique flavor experience for you. It's the same fresh seafood, but the flavor profile is completely different. And another big difference between this place and Sub Crab is that this sauce is much thicker. I think this place, it's a little more spice than numminess. What other place, fresh seafood and very unique Chinese spices utilized in the sauce. Seriously, if you love places like Hot and Juicy or The Boil or any of these other like Cajun seafood places, definitely give this place a try. Oh, I just had an idea of what could go really good with this amazing sauce. Can I, can I get a white rice, please? Oh, you know what I love about this, especially over rice? There are little bits of mushy potatoes inside this creamy, garlicky, spicy sauce. Just an absolute match made in food heaven. Mm. Thought of something else. Make a little nest. Take some of these potatoes. It's all covered in that gooey elixir. Mash it up a little bit. Drizzle some sauce on top. That's absolutely perfect. This sauce is one of the best compliments ever to a bowl of white rice. This and the seafood and the skewers, my favorite things here. After an awesome food day, just taking a stroll around the city. I do kind of miss it. This ability to just wake up anytime and just go out for whatever food you want. I did like my time here. As always guys, all the places I went to is listed down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.